What's going on, brethren? It's your main man, back on the scene with another video. I saw this uh, article, maybe a week or so ago, yeah, September 20th, it was a week and a few days. I'm just getting to it. I find it interesting. It says, new report claims Prime Video abandoned a Conan the Barbarian TV series because of toxic masculinity. So the new report claims that Prime Video abandoned a Conan the Barbarian TV series due to toxic masculinity. This is awesome. I like this cover. This cover looks good. This looks good. This is this is the hot art in the comics used to look. That's the stuff that attracted me to it. The story has to be good and the artwork has to look good. But like now, I don't know what they have going on. Conan the Barbarian TV series was announced back by Deadline back in 2018. The initial announcement, it was revealed that the current House of Dragon showrunner, Ryan Kondo, was behind the series. He was also joined by House of Dragon showrunner, Game of Thrones, Miguel Sap Sapchiknik. I know I'm saying it wrong. They detailed the series would retell Conan's origins as he is driven out of his tribal homelands and wanders the mysterious and treacherous world of civilization where he searches for purpose in a place that rejects him as a mindless savage. The report also specifically noted that this Conan and Barbarian series will be part of Jeff Bezos and, and Prime Video's answer to Game of Thrones with Deadline's Nelly and Driva writing. The project falls into Amazon's push into big fantasy genre drama series with broad appeal in the mold of Game of Thrones. Honey, there. The Conan the Barbarian series never, well, came to fruition at Amazon. A nice typo there. And in 2020, producer Frederick Malmberg moved the project to Netflix, where he's working on both live-action and animated adaptations of the character. A little over a year ago, Malmberg indicated that he moved forward in the production of the live-action series and had begun writing the series. Malmberg explained, with Conan, I'm happy to say that we are writing, we are, develop, are in development, and uh, which means we basically work with the writer who has written the first draft of the pilot of the series and then a series overview. We are working... With together with working together with the Netflix team, obviously with the beer bug of our unknown origins, it's been a little tricky because everybody's working from home. It's all Zoom conferences and very difficult to get everyone aligned. So things are progressing, but as always, you want them to progress faster than they do. But that's the world we live in. But. Things are going well, he added. This looks cool. Why the series was moved from Amazon to Netflix was never really explained, but the new report from YouTube channel Midnight Edge claims it was cut from Amazon due to toxic masculinity. First, Midnight Edge founder Andre in her jar Thor's cousin explains that Amazon didn't just want a Game of Thrones competitor they wanted to dominate the entire fantasy market now that's what men do you gotta beat your chest be the best and that's a bad thing these days let's continue he says Bezos wanted something which would enable Amazon to dominate the fantasy market the same way Game of Thrones had done for HBO. To make that dominance complete, though, 
They weren't looking for just one Game of Thrones, but two. One for the family market and one for the more adult market. One that would quite literally capture the exact same market that were engrossed in Game of Thrones. Got Jeff crying. <laughs> I could yell, this is the video. <laughs> He's, I tell you, these uh, thumbnails crack me up. After detailing the Lord of Rings was their path to dominate a family market, Ihar Jar details that Conan, and don't get mad at me, man, saying your name wrong. Conan the Barbarian was their initial property to capture the more adult market. He explained Amazon wanted to the Lord of Rings to capture the family market, but to be their Game of Thrones to take over the Game of Thrones market, they had something else in mind, mainly Conan the Barbarian. It was the perfect property to fill the same need as Game of Thrones, and they had a perfect showrunner for it. Ryan Condo of the Colony fame in Harjar details and the scripts he had written were extremely true to the original Robert E. Howard stories, and according to everyone who read them, amazingly good. Yeah, I like this cover too. And Harjar <laughs> then explains how it all went wrong. Hope he can't fight. I don't want to beat me up. But then the executives who had commissioned Conan in the first place were me too. Yeah, you know, that's how it is these days. All they got to do is say you did and you're guilty. That's Johnny Depp. He went, and if Johnny Depp didn't have the money that he had, he would have been ringed good. And replaced with Jennifer, the activist. That's what I'm going to call her. She came in to clean up Amazon both in terms of culture, oh Lord Jesus, and content. He specifically claims the activist can the show due to toxic masculinity and replaced it with the Wheel of Time, trash, where others saw the next Game of Thrones in Ryan, Ryan Condal's Conan script, Jennifer, the activist, saw only toxic masculinity. As such, Ryan Condal was fired! Jetson, you're fired! Conan was scrapped, and Jennifer, the activist, picked the Wheel of Time, to be Amazon's more adult-oriented Game of Thrones replacement, although she made sure to make it even more female-centric than it already was, just to be sure there would be absolutely no toxic masculinity. There you go. Just run it. That looks cool. What do you make of this report? Do you think Netflix version will embrace toxic masculinity of Conan if they're smart then they won't do it stay true to the source material make that money you know, if it's not your thing don't watch it it's as simple as that anyways guys I'm not gonna long stroke it let me know what you think like share subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.